I'm going to play you a vocal and then assign some macros to do some transformations in Infiltrator. Here's the original vocal. We've got several effects in Infiltrator running. We've got a low pass filter, an LFO, we've got a looper, we've got um, a panner set to balance, we've got a reverb, and we've got a rhythmic low pass filter. Um, and let's just assign macro one so we can bring in the rhythmic low pass filter to start with. We'll call this macro transform. And by clicking the little edit button here, we can enter macro edit mode. Now in macro edit mode, we'll assign the mix control and the mix is currently at zero. So let's go macro edit and make um, macro one, bring that mix all the way in. We click on the background here, we can go back out of macro edit mode. So now let's listen to the vocal and turn up transform. There you go, you can hear the low pass filter coming in with the rhythm. Let's do some things with the other effects as the, um, as the transform knob is turned up. To start with, let's bring in the panning. Hopefully that's quite easy to hear and uh, we'll bring in the looper as well. In fact, it's currently set to 7%, so let's take that back down to zero and we'll just bring in the looper here. Uh, let's try 100% and see how it sounds. That's pretty cool. And let's have a look at this filter we've got here. What's this doing? Let's just bring it in for a second. It's sort of a low pass filter over the whole thing. I don't I don't think that one's going to be that exciting. Let's turn that one off. Um, and we've got this reverb here. And maybe the reverb should only come in when we when we start to turn this up. So let's just back this off a bit. definitely needs to come in here to kind of smooth out those um, those glitchy sounds as this goes into the background. Let's turn that up. That's pretty good. Let's have a listen to that in the mix. I think maybe the last thing we'll do is just on the um, looper, so we'll have the looper come in more slowly. Um, so here's the mix on the looper, and when we, you can see there's a little um, shaded area here, um, this this light, light, sorry, darker blue really. Um, as we move this around, you can see the macro knob controlling that lighter blue uh, mix amount. So I think what we want to do is have the looper only really come in when this gets to the last, you know, 10% of here. So what we can do is we can edit the curve shape for this by mousing over this, just adjusting it like that. And now it'll come in more strongly only at the end of the controls range. So here you can see we're still at practically zero mix. And then just when we bring it up, we can get the looper to smash in at the end there. Let's try that out. That's pretty cool. Um, and you can also assign the macros to things in the master section. So we'll just bring a little bit of overdrive in again towards the end, maybe of the of the of the um, macro knobs travel. And I think we just want to lose a little bit of um and lose a little bit of gain as that transform comes up. So these kind of glitches are a little bit more in the background here. So I'm just going to again go into edit mode and I'm just going to turn down the gain control towards the end as the transform knobs turned up. Let's try that. Mm -hmm. 